Hey, welcome to Rust Revival Garage. Uh, Memorial Day is coming up, and I thought I'd do something non-car related because for the Memorial Day long weekend, a lot of people usually grill out. So I figured I would check my grill to make sure everything is good to go, and it's not. So if you're having a low flame amount and you can't get your grill to heat up, I'm going to try something. I'm going to see if it works. And uh, so, yeah, let's get to it and see what happens. All right, so I've got my propane on, turning, turning on all, and lighting it up. As you can see, hopefully you can see, I've got some flame along this main section here. But if you look down along the side, there's nothing along here. I'm gonna let this cook for a while and we'll see what the temperature gets up to. Okay, so here's the temp. It stayed at 250 for five minutes. Has not changed. It's got flame on this side. Not too much going along over there. Apparently what it is is the regulator on the propane tank. Okay, so the propane regulator is sort of set to think, I guess not really think, but it's, it's thinking that there is a propane leak. And the trick to this, to get this to actually flow better, is to reset it. Um, so what I'm going to do is turn it off. I'm going to unscrew it and release it. I think what I have done in the past is I've turned these dials on first. Then I've gone down and turned on the propane tank. And that is setting it up so that it seems like that there is propane leaking out ahead of the time. So it's actually shutting down the flow and you're not getting as much out of the regulator. So by taking it off, it is in fact resetting it. There's nothing else that you really have to do other than just take it off of the propane tank. And then every time you start up your grill, you turn on the propane then you turn on your one ignition burner and then you're pushing the button to ignite it. Let's try it again now that I've taken that off and reset it. So I'm igniting it. And let's see if she heats up. And I don't know if you can see it, but everything is actually burning really well in there. See if I can get to it. Yeah, it's burning really, really well now. Now, my other big problem that I've got is my thermometer's broke. <laughs> so actually, I, I wasn't getting a very good flame. Now I'm getting a good flame, but uh, this isn't working. This is pretty much where it was when I came out to start this video. Um, but I am getting a good flame. There's a lot of heat in there. Um, the flame is pretty much coming up very well. So try that tip. And when, remember, turn on your propane first. Then turn on your one ignition. Turn that on and immediately light it up when you get a chance then turn your others on. That prevents the regulator from thinking that there is a propane leak. And that is how you can keep your grill going for a little longer. You don't have to wheel it out and go buy a new one over Memorial Day weekend. Just a stupid tip that maybe will help you out this weekend or this summer. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've got other tips to get your uh, grill going and cooking strong. Um, and uh, thanks very much for tuning in. We will catch you next time.